to another Kid Lit. My name's Miss Amanda, and today I have three great titles for you. The first one is Into the Clouds, The Race to Climb the World's Most Dangerous Mountain, and it's by Todd Olson. This book is the ultimate expedition that took place in, the night, in 1953 by Charlie Houston and his race to climb the second highest mountain in the world. And this mountain is called K2. It is on the Karakoram mountain range, which is, um, it's near the Himalayan mountain range where, where Mount Everest is at. It feels like you were right there beside him. You can almost feel the cold yourself. It can get, in winter time, this mountain can get to negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So the oxygen's really thin. It tells their stories, their triumphs, their failures, their most secret moments of the climb. Uh, fears for the climb uh, and Todd Olson does such a wonderful job he makes you feel like you're right on that mountain with them um, I'm gonna read a little excerpt from the back because it's just bone chilling uh, this heroine adventure story particularly puts you on the slopes of K2 with the climbers you'll feel yourself gasping for auction stamping your feet to fight off frostbite and wrestling with the ultimate decision do you turn back while you still can or make it one last try for the summit. And that review was by Steve Schinken, award-winning author of Bomb and Undefeated. And I do have to agree, I could not put this book down. I was biting my nails while I read this book. It's very suspenseful. Um, it'll ha definitely have you on the edge of your seat. This book is a great book for anyone that wants to go on a venture, but either don't have the guts to do it or don't have the funds to go to the Himalayas right now. <laughs> and uh, right now, the interesting thing about this book and the timing of, the, of this book is in December, a brand new expedition for 2020 started in K2 with the most winter climbers ever. And during the summer months, it's, it's a hard mountain to climb, but in winter it's almost unimaginable. And there's, there's gonna be about 70 climbers on this mountain for this winter climb. You can keep updated. I, I like seeing it, reading the news stories to keep updated with their progress and wishing them well. Um, feel free to follow in. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you ever climb a mountain? <laughs> Do you have what it takes? <laughs> Our next story is called Free Lunch. And it's by Rex Ogle. It is a biography detailing his lives and it shines a light on American poverty through the lens of a young boy in sixth grade. Uh, when his family, he goes to school, he has hand-me-down clothes and his mom assigns him up for the free lunch program. This normally wouldn't be an issue, but no one else is on free lunch in his school. And there's a lot of kids that are rich at his school and he feels basically like a loser, like an outcast. He, he feels like that he's not good enough and it dives into his family life and all the, the trials and just heartbreaking, just utterly heartbreaking life. Um, if you'd like to dip your toe in that water and learn a little bit about kids growing up in this type of situation, this book is a great read. It is very raw and unfiltered. Uh, yes, there are a few curse words in it and some uh, domestic violence, but um, it is a really good read, very eye-opening, and um, grow your heart with this book. <laughs> Our next story is called The Midler, and it's by Kirsty Applebaum. Um, this book is about a young girl named Maggie and she lives in the town of Finniswick. And what's different about this town? Uh, Finniswick is protected by a boundary all the way around the town. And it's say that the children and no one should ever leave the boundary. Don't go beyond the boundaries. Uh, her brother, Jed, is an eldest. And in her town, the eldest, they can do no wrong. They get the best treatment, the best clothes, the best, um, the best, food, the best everything, because when they turn 14, they go off and fight in the war, the quiet war, to protect them and their way of life. Um, 
Maggie's world turns upside down when she's near the boundary and she meets a wanderer. Wanderers are the outsiders and Maggie hatches a scheme to capture this wanderer so she cannot be a middler. Um, she can be popular like her brother and she can become the hero of her town. Read it to find out if her plan works or fails. And this book is great because it's the perfect balance of dystopian <laughs> for juvenile li literature. It's not too scary, but, but there is some little suspenseful moments in there. And it's a great, I really enjoyed this book. Uh, it doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Uh, catch us next month for February's Kid Lit. I can't wait to see you then. Bye. <laughs>